What's going on people? Welcome back to another video. John Sinclair TV back again tonight. I'm outside tonight in the lovely breeze in Page Park. Just where I live, just around the corner where I live. So just a bit of a fresh air rather than doing inside tonight. So yeah, here I am outside in the lovely sunshine. Now we're going to talk about uh, Lankubu Minty. It's a breaking news that's come out today that he has signed for Newcastle United and it's a long-term contract and he's joined from Odense in Denmark when he had a season over there, 17 appearances, four goals, six assists and he's a Gambian young lad and he's going to do really well. I hope he does but while we signed him he goes straight over to Feyenoord on a season-long loan which I think is a cracking move for the young lad and let's hope he have a mint of a time in Rotterdam. So before we go further, make sure you smash the likes as well, please. Hit that subscribe button as well. And my numbers is going up all the time. And yeah, let's go for some stats. Let's go um, his strengths. His strengths, he's very, very strong with his pace. His simulation is quick. Also, he's got Danielson as well. His dribbling skills is up there. Technique's good. And also agility and creativity is really strong. And sometimes his negativity is he can be overthinking it a bit, trying to do too much. But he's a young lad, he's a young kid, and he's gonna come really, really good. He's quite similar to Musa Diaby as well, but obviously he costs seven million quid. Well, six million quid as I speak. And his position, he can play as a winger, he can play as a second striker, and he's left footed as well. And I think we're going to get uh, fun with this kid as well. And in future years, he's going to be really, really good. And he had a market, chance of market, um, market value of £100,000. But that's a bit of a false statement that he came £6 million quid. Yeah, what he needs to improve. And um, he needs to um, um, improve his right foot as well. Because he's quite weak as well. And... He's, he'll learn from that with the best under Eddie Howe in future years. But he's gone to find Lord on the, on the slot. On the slot is a cracking young manager who is destined for best things as well. And I think he'll do well over in Fine Lord as well. So, yeah. I mean, I think this guy's going to be really good. I think he's going to be a, um, a quality player as well. And Dan Ashworth has come out and he made a statement. He said, we look forward to working with him in this exciting phase of his development and we're excited to see how he performs the Fine Lord, a club that also has a strong development record of its own. He added, as well as supporting the first team with players, but here now we have a clear philosophy to invest in emerging talent and we want to provide a player pathway that will help to build a sustained long-term success. I think what we do with um, him and Glenn Cool as well is send him out on loan to make him better players to develop as well because obviously they're not going to be playing first team football at Newcastle United. But at the end of the day, I think we're going to have uh, cracking young players in the future. Dan Ash was doing a grand, fantastic job. We're not paying over the odds on these with players as well, which costs a ridiculous amount of money. And I'm in for youth. It's a youth project. And I think he's going to get better and better. And I wish him well at Fire Nord. And other stores as well, which is Jamal LaSalle's, and he's being linked to a Luton Town, and reports and travel with football and Chronicle as well, saying that they explore options of signing Jamal LaSalle's Newcastle captain. In my opinion, I think he needs to be playing first team football, and I think he needs to be moved on because he's not going to get in the first team, not the way Botman and Shah has been playing over the season and look it's a bit of a shit house we we love him for that he's been with us since 2014 and listen he stayed with us in the championship under Rafa Benitez and I like Jamal Sells I really do he's an honest player yeah and he has his faults by making mistakes getting done for pace and you know gets caught out quite a few times but when he tackles he's a good tackler and for me personally 30 years old, I think he needs to be playing in the first team. So, listen, if he goes to Luton Town, if they follow up their interests, then I wish him every success. But me personally, I think he wants to go back to Nottingham Forest if they come calling for him. 
but at the end of the day, that has to happen as yet. But also, um, ASM, according to the Daily Mail, wants to stay and fight for its place. Now, there you go. That's what he's saying. But at the end of the day, that's what Simon Jones in the support has been saying. And you know what? I never want ASM to leave anywhere. I love the guy. I really do. And on this day, it could be a real beater. And I just hope that... Um, He's there and probably all he's going to do. So things can change in football and that's how it is. I mean, it changes from minute to minute. So there you go. Guys, tell us what you think and um, leave your comments in the section down below and tell us what you think of the sign of a mint here. That's the breaking news. Uh, he has signed a long-term contract, but he has gone off to Van Lord. And Jamal Lascelles, it's his time up in Newcastle United. And ASM, according to Daily Mail, is wants to stay in fight first place. Leave it down there, like and subscribe. Until then, I'm heading back home. It's a beautiful day in Bristol. And um, until then, away the lads.